Atiyallah, Atiyah Rasulun ulul amri minkum an an abdikul ajeezu, da'eefu, miskeenu, zalimu, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence that we talked on this month of realities and Subhana man huwa khalaq al-nur and Surat al-Munafiq that people are under the impression zakah is one but we have from everything ilmu sharia and the realities of what sharia is asking and that's cause and effect and the reality of this earth that you can't change the sun and moving from east to west it's fixed ilmu tariqa ilmu marifa and ilmu haqiqa and ilmu azima like a circle the sharia is what binds us all on this circumference nothing can leave the circumference its center is one so the atom is a symbol of ilmu sharia everything is on the circumference and everything from the circumference is taking its power from the nucleus so then the center is our goal the nucleus is the goal ilmu tariqa is that what connects you from the circumference into the nucleus. So they call it a radius, a rasul. A rasul's purpose is to come and connect you to the circumference and bring you to the center. And amana rasul is that then all the prophets brought you to the same center and they're all brothers reaching the same circumference, reaching all of creation come back to the nucleus. So the knowledges must be based on also the tariqah, the way to go back to the center. Most of people practicing religion and all religions are only sharia, only the do's, don'ts and the wrong. They don't really follow Qur'an, they follow Furqan, the world of right and wrong, everything right and wrong. They didn't take a path. To the center, otherwise they would have been on a tariq. So then the knowledges of tariqah, as soon as you stepped on the tariqah you're now in a direction of ma'rif, ma'rifah. You are from the meme, the Muhammadan arifin and you're taking a guide that has gone to the center and came back, not somebody who read about it but whose heart went to the center, died and Allah sent it back to the circumference and now you have a ijazah to guide. So then their knowledges must be at a level of marifah. From marifah every step towards the center you're going closer, everything that they're going to now talk to you like a tour guide, we're getting closer, we took another step, here comes another haqiqah a haqqat, a reality and truth. So every step that they're bringing of realities are truths that are coming. And as they get closer and closer to the truth then they become unspoken realities of azimah because it's not meant to be propagated openly all over the internet. So there's a knowledge at every level. Zakah on the circumference two and a half percent, come on give something from what Allah has given to you. As soon as you stepped on the radius Allah inspired you, take the tariq, istiqamu fi tariqah, be firm on this path now. As soon as you stepped on the tariq then Allah said, no, 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 this is now your jihad, you're going to give 10, 20 percent or more of whatever you make in life. At that time people hear and say, what? I'm out, get out. Allah wants their jihad to be real, their fight jihad al-akbar is against themselves and this what people worship has to be brought down and they give with their life in tariqah. And we said that Ayatul Kareem, this bab of this 
Ahbab, they're ulul ahbab. They are the people of the door, the ones teaching you this reality. And they are Ahbab and Nabi They are the peoples of the door, they inherited the safe and the sword of Imam Ali Salam and that sword is the secret of Lam Alif. And with this reality of Lam Alif of the two rivers they're going to take your head off. Don't think with your head, come with your heart. Give until it hurts, we're going through the door that is your tariq. As soon as you're moving on the tariq then the zakah of marifa. This zakah of marifa is that be of service. The money you gave and property you gave, very good. But Allah asking you for this maqam al-iman, are you going to get there without giving what people have given before? life, of their property, of their family, of their time, of their entire existence. So the shaykh in encourages the student in the zakata of marifa, be of service, have a khidmat. As soon as you have a khidmat means as soon as you learn to serve the way, serve your tariq, you have a purpose in life. You have a nazar from them, the shuyukh of the tariqah. Don't worry about in the physical world if they look scattered, that's their job. This physical world is not the world of solidarity and unity, it's the world of confusion, the abode of confusion. The world of akhirah is singular, it's ocean of one light where everything goes and becomes one. This world is confusion. So whoever you follow, whoever you love, hold tight. They're going to whip you around in all sorts of different directions and then they want to see that you have istiqam again, you have firmness in your service to the shaykh. If you believe in his dawah and the mission that he has, serve it. If you don't, find somebody that you do. But don't be out there strangling all by yourself like a lost dog, lost puppy out in the wind. The storms are coming and these puppies will be blown away in the wind. Find whomever you love. If you think their dawah is right and it's something you want to support, support it. But tie your foot to it, don't bounce around in 20 different directions because you don't know when you untie yourself that may be when the wind comes. Somebody untied themselves now they can't have access to anything here. That wasn't a timely thing to do. So in your life. The zakah of marifa is, Ya Rabbi let me bind my, my foot and my hand with that way. I want to serve that way. I believe in what they're doing and I want to put my being to do it. When they did that and they were firm and these are all working at the same time, then Prophet will begin to instruct that give them the zakah of haqiqat. And the zakat of haqiqat is to do a khidmat of Sayyidina Muhammad You're being trained to serve the shaykh, now Prophet asking you, serve me. I want your khidmat for me and what I'm asking from you is that I want to bring you into my ocean. But in my ocean I don't accept any shaykh, I don't accept any wali. I don't accept any Prophet of Allah I only accept my presence. This is Allah's command, Prophet very humble would never speak like that. Allah's command, Allah saying, I'm going to take you on this haqqaiq and you have no permission to show yourself as anything in the presence of my beloved. And that's why they understood that all the salvations of Muharram we're all under the azimat and salvation of Sayyidina Muhammad Every nation took to its punishment, its nijad came from Sayyidina Muhammad When Sayyidina Adam brought us onto this earth and whatever he did wrong until he mentioned the name of Sayyidina Muhammad, Ya Hamid Abu Haq Muhammad At that time he got the attention, he said, now you have been crushed. And you understand your salat will not save you in my presence, you accept me as Muhammadun Rasulullah. 
not la ilaha illallah adam rasulullah la ilaha illallah musa rasulullah la ilaha illallah isa rasulullah each of them in this zakat of haqaiq have to give back what Allah gave to them. What are you going to give back? You gave your cash, Allah doesn't really need it. That was to clean you. What Allah needs from us, what He gave us. What is the greatest gift Allah has given to us? My will, my will. Ya Rabbi, I'm coming to the tariqah to surrender my will. I don't want to choose. They call that in other groups the prayer of serenity. How millions of alcoholics and drug addicts are finding recovery by surrendering. They surrender to a power higher than themselves, they surrender their will and they understand that when I choose it's all wrong, you make the choice for me. When it's things that I can't comprehend and understand, my Lord you choose for me Ya Rabbi. Allah then put your will on the table, I want that back. I gave it as a gift, if you truly want to give your zakah, give your will back to me. In which to surrender their will. So then every Prophet of Allah they have to leave their risalat to enter into, La ilallah Muhammadun Rasulullah So Adam realized that du'a is not going to be answered, 40 years cried until he remembered what he saw and said, Ya Hamid Abu Haqqa Muhammad and began to mention words what Allah said and he mentioned words to his Lord. At that time Sayyidina Muhammad accepted his tawbah and said, now that you've acknowledged Muhammadun Rasulullah you're admitted into that presence. Sayyidina Ibrahim قُلْ يَا نَارُ كُونِ بَرْدًا وَسَلَامًا the thrown into a fire and that fire its najat and coolness and peacefulness is through Sayyidina Muhammad And Sayyidina Isa all the difficulties and burdens that he took of torture and pain is that, I don't want to be anything and I'm going to be abused by these people but Ya Rabbi don't let me to die to see Sayyidina Muhammad raise me onto your presence and bring me back in the last days. And his du'a was accepted to be raised in the presence and to come back to and be from Ummat Muhammad Rasulullah So means they annihilated their annihilation. And the most famous of their teachings Sayyidina Musa salam. So this zakat of haqqaiq Nabi Musa was told, if you want La ilallah Muhammadun Rasulullah go and be humiliated by my servant. One of these Muhammadan guides and Sayyidina Khidr salam, Sayyidina Abbas Khidr salam is on the Naqshbandi silsila. Means that reality runs through Naqshbandiya and said, go, go to this Naqshbandi shaykh, he's going to humiliate you. And you're going to take the humiliation for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And we say, how Sayyidina Khidr was talking to Nabi Musa like that? Oh, you don't have any patience, you don't even know any of these things and in the end please go away. How do you talk to a Prophet like that? And Nabi Musa, Salamina wa whatever you say I'm accepting. And what Prophet wants from us is then don't talk. Don't speak, don't give answer back, don't give credit to your ego. That take, take every type of difficulty and keep silent on your way, on your tariq. It's not about work, it's about your tariq. Your tariqah comes and teaches you on this way of love, don't ever talk, don't ever give a sign of yourself, don't give an explanation of yourself, don't complain. If you complain and use the channel and the relationship with your shaykh as this testing becomes harder, he will cut you from the presence because the test is about to get very bad. You'll be cut from the presence so that you can make your connection with Sayyidina Muhammad Because the complaining not going to help, the complaining was the surrendering, that was the zakah. 
if you're coming for love Prophet is going to ask, why are you coming to me as a shaykh? I'm going to crush you, they're coming now crush you, be nothing, be nothing, come with love, come with love and they take every difficulty as a muhabbat and love for Prophet And that's why in these naat they say, Ku qam, my qam, my sadness is like a mountain. I cannot give an answer with my mouth, I cannot run away from the difficulty. All I can do is pray to Sayyidina Muhammad, pray to Allah but pray at the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad that grant me your nazar, grant me your nazar. Because they're not praying for relief that, Ya Prophet be happy with us. Ilayanta maqsoodi wa ridat matloob, Ya Rabbi be happy and pleased with us that Prophet to give us an audience. So means this zakat of haqqaiq is they took difficulty and qam in their way. And they didn't complain every day, they didn't nag and look for somebody to whine to and cry to and then and make every type of difficulty. And when they did they're reminded within their heart, take the difficulty for Sayyidina Muhammad If this world gives you a title and gives you some sort of recognition, it's not valid for Allah What valid for Allah is if this world come against you and I'm bringing you deep into my Divinely Presence. If this world curse you, I'm bringing you into my Divinely Presence. That's why then the Kalimul Awliya is not understood by ulama. They said, you're not a real wali on two thousands of ulama, curse you. Before they used to throw rocks at them. So what kind of thing is this you're talking about? Abu Yazid al-Bistami, they were stoning him. Not only the people, the ulama of the area. Means they took hardship for this love of Sayyidina Muhammad And that was all in, قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي وَيُحِبُّكُمُ اللَّهِ If you're really following and wound the love of Prophet Allah is saying, I'm going to grant you my love. If you take a little bit more of this difficulty, don't give an answer, don't give a fight, don't do anything for this love, I'm going to grant you my Divinely love. Do you want that or you want to be recognized by people? You want people to give you a credit and, and think, yo, oh, everybody else did something wrong, you're doing everything right? Or no, you should tell people that, no, I'm doing everything wrong and they're doing everything right. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bati Rasulullah al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.